Oh, hi, everybody. Here we are looking out my back door. I'm uh, about to do a song that uh, had an interesting origin, I guess you'd say. You know, they uh, called me up to play at Woodstock way back in 1969. It was kind of the spring of uh, 69. I said, hey, John, why don't you bring Credence up to Woodstock? I said, well, sure, man. I tell you what, just give us a good spot on the bill. The fella says, hey, 9 o'clock. Saturday night. That's prime time, fella. And I said, all right, we'll be there. What he didn't tell me was, you're going to follow the Grateful Dead. Anyway, uh, we got there on Saturday, August 16th, 1969. I walked around a little bit. You know, there were half, half a million people, kids mostly, uh, out there watching the show. And uh, by 6 o'clock, I started to get a little nervous because I knew I was supposed to go on at 9 o'clock. And there were still five more bands had to play before the Grateful Dead. Well, sure enough, 9 o'clock came, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Finally, the Grateful Dead went on about midnight. They started playing, you know, that jingly jangly tie-dye patchouli hip smoker reefer uh, far out thing that they do. And it was cool. About 45 minutes into it, dead silence. Uh, nobody quite knew what was going on, but there was an hour of silence while the dead was up on stage. Um, years later, we found out that what happened was the Grateful Dead had all taken LSD just as they walked up on stage at Woodstock in front of half a million people. Well, anyway, up on stage it sounded something like this. Hey, Jerry! Yeah, man. Where's my guitar? I don't know, man. Well, after an hour, they got things plugged in again, and they started playing again. They did play another 45 minutes, and they were done. I came running out on stage, ready to set the world on fire. It was 2.30 in the morning, people. I looked down here and I saw a lot of kids look just like me, except they were naked and they were asleep. The Grateful Dead had put half a million people to sleep. Now, it had been my ambition to play a really great set for all those folks and have a really high water mark for my uh, musical career, you might say. But the fact that they were all asleep was kind of frustrating. So I got the rocking and rolling. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly, keep on chugling. But they just weren't stirring out there. It was kind of a tough deal. Finally, I went up to the mic and said, well, we just want you to have a good time. We're playing our hearts out up here for you. Hope you're enjoying this. Way out in the darkness, some guy's flicking his lighter, and I hear him say, don't worry about it, John. We're with ya. So I played the whole rest of my big Woodstock set for that guy. Then I went home and I wrote this song. 